And what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to make a beginner's guide for how custom skills work in this game, as that's pretty much how you do the bulk of your damage and do fights easily in this game. So, I've already went over this before in the beginner guide for the, uh, for like the North Raid, uh, and then like the North Extreme Raid and all, and then on. But I'm just going to make this as a separate one so it's easier to find rather than just go to those. So, first things first is to even do custom skills, you know, you can go over on your sword skill, hover over it, and press square if you're on PlayStation. I believe Xbox is like uh, Y or whatever button it is, I can't remember. But uh, you just press that. And then it'll open this menu where you can put a armor on and you can put two accessories. Now, how this works is whenever you then activate this sword skill, it's going to swap to this gear. So, for example, this black light clothes I have on has the down incarnation on it. And this one on my main gear doesn't have an incarnation. So whenever I activate that sword skill, it's going to swap to my other black light clothes with this on. And the custom skills you can use to effectively stack your stats and you can stack different accessories together. So for example, how you can only equip one ring in the accessory slot on your main gear, you can put another ring in custom skills and stack them. But the way that this is set up for me right now is just, uh, I'm stacking this necklace, which has dex 50, attack 70, defense 80, and 42 accuracy on it. I'm stacking that with my abyssal ring. So the way I'm stacking this is, for example, like this right here. If you want to stack something, and let's say you have it in your accessory one slot right here. So say, for example... I had my ring of tranquility right here in this slot and I want to use another ring what I have to do is I got to come to customs and I have to put that ring right here so effectively that stacks my stats so since this is stacking with my necklace uh, for example I'm just gonna unequip that and you see my stats right here are not changed because these clothes have the exact same stats as the one on my main gear and there's nothing else increasing my stats. So in my default gear, the necklace is right here in this slot. So I'm going to put back on that abyssal ring in the second slot and you'll see my stats go up. So just going to the ring and as you can see, this has 74 strength, 78 dex, and it has 13 defense and 42 accuracy. And as you can see, it went from right here originally to not changing to now it's gone up with accuracy because it's also stacking with my necklace. So it went from 729 accuracy to 786. And then the attack went to 1675. As you can see, some other stats fall like vitality and agility because on my main gear, that's what the Ring of Tranquility has. But this is effectively how you stack accessories in this game and how custom skills work so like i said once you activate that sword skill uh it's gonna swap to this gear and like i said this is how you can stack them um you know this is how you can just make the most out of your out of your sword skills and your items in this game to do more damage or you know do something faster like you know hazard or whatever but you can also do this for your combat skills so you can do the same thing to them but the only thing you really want to do on combat skills is really just get an incarnation for you know cooldown time and then you just want to get forgotten talisman which is from the south normal raid from the final just completing the raid traveler's cloak you can craft this from a vendor near the default swords i mean the default smith up in uh centuria the very first smith you run into, you can uh, craft it from a guy near him in that area. But you just want those with the cooldown passive. And that's basically what you just put on your your custom skills for your combat skills. 
And like I said, whenever you activate the combat skill, it's going to swap to this gear, which it won't matter. It's just going to be for that split second since combat skills are only for that split second you activate it. But yeah, that's it for this video on how, you know, you can use custom skills and how they work. Uh, if there's any questions, if you still don't understand something or whatever, uh, let me know and I'll try to answer it for you. So that'll be it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.